All right, I'm installing a rugged ridge wiring harness trailer kit. And I found a better way than they tell you how to do it. I run my ground right here to this little bolt, put a nut in the back of it, which goes to your door strike. And the power, instead of running 15 feet of wire all the way to the front of the Jeep, which is ridiculous, and they tell you to do it underneath. There's suspension on the frame. We're gonna get nicked and cut. I just run it from the box right here through a little plug right there. I do a little hole. Pop this panel off here. You got a 12 volt plug right here anyway. <clears throat> and I just splice it in right there. And you actually have a ground right there if you'd rather do it that way. So that saves about 10 feet of wiring easily. Which you didn't need to do and a whole lot of time it seems. It's a lot cleaner. But uh, they also give you a, a fuse to splice in here. It's a 15 amp. I'm not going to splice that in because this is already protected by a 15 amp if you look in the fuse box, so it couldn't be better. But, uh, and there's the hitch, that just bolts up easily. But that's, that's a pretty good way of doing it, I think. So yeah, instead of having to tap in a self-tapping screw, which would rust over time in my opinion, and having to run a wire all the way up to the battery, this is a lot better.